Have you just opened your rewards? Or maybe oh, you've got lucky so and you've packed someone nice. decent. Either way, you've got some money to spend and you need to upgrade that dusty team. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best players in the 100k in FIFA 23. We're going to have one player in each position in a 4-4-2 formation. And these players will make you more competitive, meaning you'll get more wins in foot champs and higher division in rivals. 100k is very easy to get this year, lads. You'll get that from one week of champs easily. If you're broke like me and you need some coins, then head over to fifacoin.com. They offer some of the cheapest and most reliable coins on the market right now. Also, make sure you use code JAM for an extra discount at checkout. It is the top link in the description. So in goal, we've got Thibaut Courtois. This man is six foot six and widely regarded as the best goalkeeper on the game. I used him in my main team. I bought him for 44,000 coins. And he's actually gone up in price since I bought him. He's about 55,000 coins-ish. But he's six foot six. He's massive in the goal, boys. He's got the long throw so he can start those counter attacks wonderfully. And the come through crosses trait is really good as well. Actual goalkeeping stats wise are really, really nice. And this guy, honestly, boys, is an absolute monster. Get him in your team. He's also got really good links being obviously Real Madrid. And you can link him with like De Bruyne and that. And at right back, we've got his teammate. is Lucas Vasquez. Foot Centurions, this is four star, four star. He can play right wing back or right wing if you want him to. This guy's Hullet Gang as a right back with four star skill with four star weak foot. Five foot eight's decent. 97 stamina, so he's going to be up and down that line like no man's business and he's not going to tire out 72 strength looks a little bit low but when you factor in the fact that wingers are usually really weak 72 strength is going to be enough and you can always boost that with a little chem style as well defending wise 84 interceptions 83 stand tackles really nice going forward is where this guy excels though 87 agility 88 balance with 87 dribbling 89 crossing so if you've got a big tall bulky target man up, he's going to put it on the money 89 curvature is also wonderful shooting wise 88 shot power 79 finishing 80 seven attack positions. Pretty good, isn't it, as well? He's about 80,000 coins, which is not too shabby, Alonso. Real Madrid, Spanish, from La Liga. He's got some good links as well. Now, speaking of good links, this guy has not got good links. He links to Skill Min Son. He links to a couple Napoli geezers, but that's about it. Kim Min Jae, Path to Glory. A six foot three, 85 pace is wonderful. We love to see that. Physicality wise, 93 physical, 85 jumping, 87 aggression is absolutely super. Defending wise, 85 defensive awareness, 84 interceptions, 88 stand tackle. Oof. Those are some serious bad boy defending stats there. Put that with 85 pace. He's quick enough. 88 reactions. It's absolutely crucial for a center back nowadays. He's got really good agility and balance for a center back. And passing wise, 86 short pass, 80 long pass. He's pretty good as well. As I say, links are going to be your problem here, but you can pick him up for about 100,000 coins on the dot. I don't know why there's not that many here, but he's, he's 100k. And next to him, we've got Jugvardiol. He's six foot one. He's left footed as well, which is pretty crucial. You can also play left back if you want him to, I would highly advise against playing him at left back, but if you wanted to, you can. He's got the power header trait with 89 jumping, and he's six foot one. You're thinking what I'm thinking is headers from corners, from potentially even free kicks, you know, but this guy's definitely going to be scoring goals. Let's just say that. Physicality wise, 89 strength, 90 aggression, 89 jumping, 84 physical, absolutely superb. Bending wise, 88 stand tackle, 88 slide tackle, 85 interceptions, again, absolutely superb. Dribbling for a centre back, 81 dribbling, 82 ball control, 83 reactions, 81 composure is really really nice again. 86 short pass, 84 long pass, he can distribute the ball pace as well. Can someone tell me why this guy's under 50,000 coins? It's absolutely mental. Now is probably a good time to tell you to like, subscribe and comment down below your favourite player in FIFA 23 right now. Also, have you packed a team of the year yet? At left back we've got his melee. Now he's 4 star, 3 star, 5 foot 10. I believe this is a winter wild card. I'll be honest boys, left back, we're not really blessed for good talent. The talent is a little bit lacking, I'll be honest. But what he's mainly offers you, he's got 91 stamina, so he will be up and down and he will not tire. 84 strength is very, very good. He will be bullying those wingers that come against him. Defending wise, you've got 89 interceptions, which is nice. 84 defensive awareness and 83 stand tackle, which is lovely. Going forward, 86 balance, 85 ball control, 85 dribbling's really nice. 87 short pass, obviously is going to be good. And 85 crossing, again, for big, big tall, bulky strikers, he's going to put them on the money. He's got 89 pace as well. Four star skill, he's potentially you do a little bit of a La Croqueta, maybe. Honestly, he doesn't look that bad of a card. And you talk, you're talk, you not talking that much for him. You're talking about 30,000 coins, if that. Probably about 25, 27,000 coins. He's a pretty good card, let's just be honest. At right wing, we uh, to be honest, at left back, I could have put Gareth Bale if I really wanted to, but I wouldn't play him left. But we've got Gareth Bale at right wing spot. Back left wing, back right mid, all right wing. And this end of an era card is going to cost you 95,000 coins for a 93 rated card. Get in my basket. He's four star, four star, six foot one with 
99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy. Every trait under the sun as well. Outside of the foot shot, though, is obviously one of the crucial ones because we know how OP that is this year, boys. Anyway, 85 stamina is okay. 90 strength is wonderful. 99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy. He's got to win the headers. Dribbling-wise, 91 ball control, 94 composure, 90 agility, 89 dribbling, 99 free kicks, 99 curve, 97 crossing, 91 short pass, 90 finishing, 99 shot power, 95 long shots, 89 attack positioning, 90 acceleration, 92 sprint speed. Obviously, Welsh and from the MLS, they're not really gonna, he's not gonna get the three points of chemistry probably, unless you're rocking a full MLS team. On base card stats alone, you're getting yourself an absolute beast, even if he comes off the bench for you. Honestly, he's a must-do SBC for me. Anyway, I'll stop fangirling over Bale. Next, we've got Ryan Gravenberg. Now, he's four-star, four-star. He's six foot three. He's going to feel a little bit gangly in game, which we love to see. He's got the outside of the foot shot as well, which is wonderful. 89 stamina is a little low for a centre mid, I'll be completely honest. But 82 strength's really nice. Aggression is a little low for my liking, but he's got 83 interceptions, which is really nice. 77 defensive awareness and stand tackle, which is pretty nice. So, he's competent at winning the ball. He's all right defending. But where he really excels is going forward with look at those dribbling stats. 89 dribbling, 89 ball control, 84 agility, 8 free balance, 89 short pass, 87 vision with 86 long shots. Long passes, I mean, sorry. He actually does have 86 long shots as well, so if you want to crack one from a distance, you can. 83 finishing, 85 shot power is really nice, and 84 pace is good. This guy's a little bit of a beast, I'm not going to lie. He gets that perfect link to Mateus Delich as well. He's also under 100k. I don't know why he's so stupid like that, but yeah, there you are. He's about 100,000 coins on the dot. He's a fantastic little card, and you rarely see him getting played, to be fair. Next thing, we've got SMS or Sergei Milinkovic Savic, who's 6 foot 3, 4 star, 5 star, with 95 stamina, 91 strength, 91 jumping at 6 foot 3. He ain't losing no headers. He ain't losing no headers, okay? Defending wise, 82 interceptions, 89 heading accuracy, 81 defensive awareness, and 82 stand tackle. Really good at defending. Unfortunately, can't play CDM or Cam. He can only play center mid. He's got to feel like a busting game because he is so big and the agility and balance is low, but his actual dribbling stats are pretty good. 89 short pass with 89 long pass and 86 vision is really, really nice. And shooting wise, 86 finishing, 87 sh uh, long shots and 86 attack position is really nice. Five star weak foot, so left foot, right foot, he's probably going to score. Got the outside of the foot shot trait as well, which we know is super OP this year. And the power header trait, so from corners, if you've got him and Gavardio, it's lights out. Every corner is pretty much a penalty, boys. I will admit 75 pace is not that great, so make sure you do whack a shadow or like a hunter or to be honest, whatever you want. Maybe an engine would work best. But our SMS this year is, um, if I can find him. Our SMS this year is about 90,000 coins. I don't know why my market's so messed up. At left wing, we've got Nene, who's five star, five star, which we love to see. Obviously, he's got the flare trait, which we don't really care. It doesn't really matter that much, but the outside of the foot shot trait is crucial. Obviously, five star weak foot. If you see what I'm trying to say, it's left foot, right foot, but you can play left wing or left mid. Unfortunately, no cam this year for Neymar, which is a bit strange. Only 79 stamina is one of probably his biggest letdowns, but you could, you've got substitutes for a reason, boys, and you've got five this year as well. But dribbling wise, 95 dribbling, 94 ball control, 93 agility, 94 uh, free composure as well. The guy is one of the silkiest dribblers on the game. Passing wise, 85 short pass, 89 vision, 88 curve as well. And shooting wise, obviously left foot, right foot, because he's got the five star, 83 finishing. He's got 91 penalties as well, even though he does take that really weird ass run up. And 87 paces is quick enough, I'd say. Look, goal Neymar, he's all right. He's about 80,000 coins. He's a good player, but definitely a player that I would like you to upgrade relatively soonish. But he's definitely the best for the left wing spot, in my opinion. Now, looking up top, we've got Luis Hernandez icon, and you're probably saying, James, why? This guy's a beast on every FIFA. He's my favorite player on any FIFA. Luis Hernandez, he's got that four-star school, which only the three-star weak foot, but it doesn't matter. This guy will bag you goals. He's got the power head of trait, so you know what I'm saying. It's another corner, cross, whatever. He's got to bang him in. Got the outside of the foot shot trait as well, which obviously is, is needed this year, pretty much on your attack. He's got 88 jumping and 91 heading accuracy, so if he does get ahead, more than likely, it's going to go in with power as well. He's only five foot nine, but he surprisingly wins a lot more headers than that. A1 stamina is not great, I'll admit. But dribbling wise, 89 dribbling, 88 uh, agility. Sorry, the other way round. I'm head lost today, boys. I'm sorry. A6 ball control as well. Finishing wise, 90 finishing, 82 shot power, 89 attack positioning is wonderful. You get this guy anywhere in and around the box. He can weave in and out, and he's got a deadly right foot. And 91 pace is absolutely electric. Get him behind. And this card's like, honestly, he's one of my favorite players in the game. Next, we've got Jamie Vada. He's four star, four star this Centurions, and he looks monstrous. Awful stamina. Again, you'll have to sub him off, but 90 aggression makes so much difference. It means 
in the tackle. He's going to win them. Got A3 jumping and A3 heading accuracy. At 5 foot 10 is not that bad. He's got the outside of the foot shot trait as well. I mean, I've, I've literally, I've told you how, how many times I've told you today. It's, we've got 92 reactions, 90 composure, 82 agility and balance, and 87 ball control, which is nice. 80 dribbling is a little low, I will admit. 81 short pass, but 94 finishing, 94 attack positioning, 91 shot power, 90 penalties. Most importantly, 90 pace. Can you imagine Jamie Vardy running in behind? Because I couldn't, because it would be super scary. And on this Jamie Vardy card, you're looking at about 95,000 coins or 90,000 90, coins. He's English from the Premier League as well. He's got some decent links. Get him in the team, boys. Check this video out for the best players under 20,000 coins. Make sure you like and subscribe if you are new to the channel as well. Comment down below your favorite player in Ultimate Team and if you have packed a team of the year yet. Flex on me with your pack look, boys. But other than that, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and a wonderful rest of the week and I'll see you boys later.